Hello, 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 my beautiful, beautiful Tauruses. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this reading, Taurus, I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys. How are y'all feeling? This is your video number two, okay? Let's see what's in your energy. Yeah, I know, right? I know, I know. Let's see what's in your energy. Spirit, guys, this is for Taurus. What's in Taurus energy? Let's see how you're feeling. Let's see what's going on with you. Your last reading, if everyone is checking in, there's a, a first reading. You're getting three. This is the second reading. The first reading was all about a ritual. Some of y'all did a moon ritual, and it is successful. So something that you did under the moon with your last reading, go check it out. This is reading number two. Spirit guides, give me clarity, understand it most of all. I need your protection. Let's see what's in the energy for my beautiful Tauruses. What's in Taurus energy spirit? Whoa. Surrender is the card that popped out, Taurus. It's all about surrender. It's all about just, it's time to surrender. Throw in the flag, baby. Throw it in. It says, you're being asked to let go of your need to control each part of your life and surrender to the universe. Let God do it. Surrender whatever the problems that you're having, Taurus, whatever you're going through, surrender and let God handle it. And it said control is an illusion and it's exhausting to try to hold on to it. Let it go. Allow yourself to enjoy the relief that comes from doing so. So whatever it is that you're holding on to and you're just trying your best to hold on to it and try to control the situation, Spirit guys, God said, it's not for you to control. It's not for you to hold on to. Let it go. Let your hands go off of it and give it to God. Let go. Let God. Let go. Let God. Let go. Let God. Okay? Surrender to it. Control is an illusion. Whatever you're trying to control the outcome of something, it's time to let go of it. Okay? And let God work it out. Let God, however you want it, God, however you want it to work out, I'm going to leave it in your hands whoever your higher source is, and mine is God. So let's see what's in your energy. Tell me more about this spirit, guys. You need to surrender, detach. Some of you need to detach. You need to remove yourself from this situation. You need to remove yourself, surrender from it, allow it to unfold like it should. God has a plan for everything. Okay, and it says you're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. Again, surrender, detach, holding on, trying to control the situation, trying to control the outcome of whatever you're dealing with. Spirit God said it's time to let go detach from it. And I'm going to finish reading it. And it says, when we hold on tightly to the desired outcome, it restricts the flow. When you try to hold on tight to a situation and thinking that you have control of it, thinking that you can change it, you are actually holding it, you're holding yourself back from the restriction of the flow, the flow. So it says, trust that the outcome will work out and let go of the attachment to it. Just, just, just let it happen like it should. Just let it unfold like God has it to be. And just take your hands off of it and let it go. Detach yourself from it. When you let go of the control of trying to control the situation and let God handle it, watch and see what the, the outcome might not be what you want it to be, but it is best for you. Okay? It's like, no, because I want to hold on to it because I want to be in control of it. Because you feel like if you hold on to it in control of it, it's going to go in the way that you want it to. When in fact it's not, it's only going to make things worse. Okay, spirit guys, tell me more for Taurus. I love you guys. Yeah, you got to let go and let God. Let go and let God. I'm telling you, surrender to it. Let go of the control to thinking that you gonna you can be the one that can change the situation because we can't. We can't control. We cannot change the situation. The person, you can't change a the person. They got to want to change the situation. Sometimes you got to let the situation unfold like God wanted to unfold. Just take your hands off of it. Yeah, that part. Tell me more, spirit. My goodness. Yeah, presence. Being in the present moment and focus on the presence, which is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, being in the present moment, letting go of that uh, focus, okay, is also the card. And it says, you're being asked to spend more time in the present moment, Taurus. To stop ruminating about the past or holding on to 
or, or hanging, I mean, or longing, excuse me, or longing for the future. Your life is happening right now. And when you're not in the present for it, you will miss all the beauty in it. So spirit guides want you to detach from something that you can't control. Detach yourself because if you don't detach yourself from something you cannot control, okay, something that is going to be what it is, it is what it is. You are taking yourself away from being in the present moment of now. And when you're not in the present moment of now, you're missing, you're actually missing the blessings that God is trying to bring into your life because you're not in the, you're not in the now. That means you're not living in the now. So God, so you can see the fruitfulness that God has for you because we're so, we concentrating on trying to, to try to make an outcome be something we want it to be when in fact it's not meant to be. Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all ain't ready for that. Do you hear me? Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I hear? We're trying to control the situation. And it says, Spirit God's God said, I need you to focus. I need you to focus on being in the present moment. Don't focus on who or what don't want to don't want to change, don't want to surrender. Don't make nobody do anything. Like I said, you can you can lead the horse to the freaking water. But you can't make the person change at all. And it's time for you to stop putting your energy into that. Focus on the good. You're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working. It's not working. The way that you're handling it, it's not working. The way that you're trying to control it, it's not working. The way that you're thinking you can change somebody, it's not working. You got to focus and shift your focus away from what isn't working and focus towards what is working in your life. And what is working in your life is you staying in the present form of your life and staying in the now. That's what you need to put your energy into. Because when you put your energy to, into focusing in now, that means that you're saying, God, I'm ready for the blessings that you have for me in this present moment. But if you stay trying to fix something that can't be fixed or is not meant for you to fix then you can't see what God has for you in the present moment stay focused and the rest of it says it says you're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and towards what is paying extra attention to where you place your focus is the first step towards uh, uh, creating an amazing life. Focus on what matters. Focus on what matters for you. Focus on your life. Focus on what you want. Being centered, being in the moment, because that is going to bring and you're going to create an amazing life when you are in the present, present moment. Yeah, yeah. Hello, new viewers, Crosswatcher. Come on in, take what resonates. Reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. I don't know your life. I'm just tapping into your life. So you're going to have to reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. Being in the present moment. You can see all the beauty that God has for you. You can see everything that God has for you. You can create an amazing life when you stay in the present moment. Detach from something that is not working. Let it go. Surrender to it. Let God work it out. Let go. Let God work it out. I don't know who I'm talking to today, tomorrow, yesterday, this afternoon, the next day. It don't even matter. Whoever you are, surrender. A person going to change if they want to change. Surrender to the situation. The more you try to control it, the more it's going to hurt you. The more it's going to bruise and batter you. Let it go and let God. That's all I can say for you. And live in the moment, the present moment of your life, not their life or the situation. Pour the energy. Take, shift your energy away from what's not working and focus on what's working in your life. Spirit guys, give me another card. Thank you. Got two cards propped out. Change. Pivot. My God. My goodness. You see that? See that? Change and pivot. Can't make this up. Change is, is clarifying the detached card. It's time for a change. Pivot is clarifying the present moment. 
my God. Okay? Are y'all listening? Are you hearing me? I'm not just sitting up here wasting my breath. At the bottom is have faith. Have faith. Let go, let God, and have faith. I'm just saying. I'm just saying have faith, baby. And you know, having faith smaller than a mustard seed. Do you know how small a mustard seed is? Look it up. Google mustard seed. That's all God asks you to have that much faith. Surrender to the situation. Surrender whatever going on in your life. And have faith. Put all the faith into let God handle it. Let the, that, let the universe handle it. Let the spirit guide you. Let them handle it. And change is here. And it's clarifying, detach. And what it's saying is you're being asked to change a part of yourself that no longer looks like the person you have become or becoming. Change isn't always easy, Taurus. But letting go of this outdated part of yourself will allow you to align with your true self. So some of you need to surrender to this, the way that you're thinking psychologically. You need to surrender to your mental thought, okay? Surrender and let go and start to change your perspective and start to, you know, think outside of the box and stop living in the past and stop keep taking yourself back in the past and stay in the present moment. A lot of you still go back on this over spilled milk. You stay too much into the, the in the nostalgia, in nostalgic memories and it's time to change that side of you psychologically for some of you and then you have pivot and you have been in the present moment some of you are very predictable very predictable and this pivot card says sometimes when things are falling into place after trying and trying after trying to control the situation with the surrender after trying and trying it's time to ask yourself if pivoting in some way will be a good idea so that you can so that your life can flow more easily and effortlessly. How could you pivot even just a little bit today? After trying and trying the same thing, going through the same thing over and over, it's time to do something different. Because that's not working for you. Pivot just a little. Do something different because the same old way, the same situation, whatever you're doing, you keep getting the same results. And Spirit Guys, God say, if you just pivot a little bit and do something different, go a different way, move a different direction, move something so you can so you can feel some difference. So you can feel some difference in your life. And when you pivot a little bit and you show that you, you show that the spirit guides God that you're pivoting, you're trying to do something different because the same old way of the way you trying to do it ain't working for you. So when you let go and you surrender and you let God and you say, God, I'm going to let you do it. And you start to pivot different because you know that it's not working in the way that you want it to work. It's time to move different, baby. I don't know who you are, but it's time to surrender and move different because the way that you've been doing things ain't working. So do you want to continue to do it and make a mess of it? Or do you want to have faith smaller than this mustard seed and allow God, spirit guides to move in your favor? Okay, it's all about faith, baby. It's all about faith, trusting, letting go, detach from it, leave it in God's hand. Leave it in spirit hand. Leave it, leave it there and focus on the now. Focus on the, in the present moment. Shift your energy away from what isn't working and focus towards what's working in your life. Because this right here that you keep holding on to, it's time for you to detach from. It ain't working. It ain't working. Have faith. It's not easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. And it's not, Taurus. Yet still, you must do exactly that, Taurus, because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. But you got to have faith that it's going to work. You got to believe it. Okay, this is the power within your own self. You got to believe it. Not only just have faith, 
but believing in your faith. Okay? Change is necessary because you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And that's not working. Your Maybe your own mindset. It's not working. It's time to update your software, your psychological thoughts. That's not working no more. No more. The same way you're thinking. That ain't working for you. The strategy, that ain't working for you. Holding it on to somebody that don't want to be held on. Trying to hold on to the situation. That ain't working for you. Now, detaching from it and realizing that you must surrender and let it go in order for you to fully be in the present moment of your life. The present moment of your life. And that's the first step of focusing, shifting, shifting, shifting your focus away from what isn't working towards what is working. Because the way that you've been thinking lately is not working. Yeah, it's time to, it is, three of wands. It is time. It's something better else out there for you. It's something else out there for you. You understand? Surrender, let go, and realize that that ain't it. That's not it. That's not the person. That's not it. <coughs> Shifting away from the drama, the fighting, the controversy, the all of that going on. You're tired of the bull shucks. You're tired of the bull shucks. It ain't working. You done prayed about it, Emperor. You done prayed about it. You're tired of this type of energy. Some of you dealing with a narcissist. It ain't working. Some of you dealing with somebody that has narcissist tendencies. Tell me more, spirit. It ain't working. Have faith and know that there's something else better out there for you. That's right, baby. It's time to walk away because your cups ain't being fulfilled. It's time to surrender and let it go. Let people talk. Let them gossip. Let them say what they want to say. Because they're going to say what they want to say anyway, whether you're doing good or you're doing bad. So it don't even matter. Let them talk about you walking away because the page of swords in the reverse is gossip. Let them talk. Who cares? Because you're walking towards your own destiny. You get you on your own will of fortune. Your own path. Let them talk. Yeah. Yeah. You're going towards better offers. You're going towards what's best for you. You're going towards prosperity. Yeah, you're taking a leap of faith. Let them talk. Let them say what they want to say. You don't care. You're going towards taking a leap of faith, going towards what makes you happy, taking a risk, taking a chance, going towards your destiny. The will of fortune is your path. Is your destiny. Some of you leaving one job and you going towards somewhere else making more money. Let them talk. Some of you are getting a big investment, a raise, making more money, whatever it is. Let them talk. Because you are on your own destiny. Yeah, you're tired of the fight. You're tired of the BS. And you walked away. You said, I have no control of the situation. If you're in that energy, you're trying to decide if you should walk away. Let me tell you something. When you do decide, that's going to be the best thing you ever done. Okay. Okay, because you're dealing with some very insecure, feminine energies. Very jealous of you. Okay, on a, in a workplace, whatever this may result in your life. I don't know y'all life. Just reverse the roles how they fit in your life. But the will of fortune is here. Good luck, good fortune. Things are turning in your favor, high priestess star okay i'm talking to a high priestess that has a very spiritual gift let them talk they were selfish very selfish this person that you walked away from you were trying to hold on very tight you was did not want to detach you didn't want to let it go but you realized that i gotta let it go because this person ain't gonna change this person don't want to do better. So I got to let go of the control trying to trying to control this person's 
narrative of their story and when in fact you need to be on the, your own path. And now some of you realize that and you are on your own path. Any other energy for Taurus? Yep, you're thinking about your future now. Taking a leap of faith, moving on, thinking about your future. 11-11, conquering. Okay, 1-1-1-1, one, 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 conquering a lot. You're doing very good for yourself. Oh, yeah, you getting that bag, you getting that money, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because you learned, you stopped, you stopped holding on. You surrendered, and you said, I'm taking a leap of faith. Because <laughs> I know there's something better else out there for me. Yeah, and sometimes when you let go and let God and have faith smaller than a mustard seed, watch how your life begin to change and unfold. That's when your prayers come true because you're saying, God, I am now in the present moment that I want to receive the blessings that you have for me. I am Positive Thoughts and Energy, Taurus. Until next time.